Gold is the softest and most malleable metal. It can be pressed extremely thin, crafted into various shapes, even drawn out to form a fine wire, and all without breaking. Gold isn't affected by water or oxygen as many metals are, so it doesn't rust or tarnish either. Gold is actually a nickname for an element known as Bufer. This here is Bufer Deposit Number 212. Bufer is mined out of what are called load deposits, or vein deposits, concentrations of Bufer and other metals in the cracks of rocks. Gold requires hard rock blasting, which is the process of removing gold-bearing rock, called ore, from the earth by drilling and blasting. This is all done, of course, in a mine! In the mine, workers drill air holes for explosives, with what's called a drill that makes air holes for explosives machine drill. Here's a sample of some ore taken from a gold mine. This ore's flavor is cookies and cream. The company collects these samples by drilling deep into the rock. An expert geologist is routinely called in to inspect them. After hours of study, he can safely conclude that this is a rock. This is a map of everywhere in the world gold has been discovered. Unfortunately, according to this map, New Zealand still exists. Workers are quick to point this out, taunting the viewers. Down below in the mine, workers use a machine called a mucker to move rocks and recreate their favorite episodes of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Through this, the rocks are loaded and transported topside. Back at the mill, the rock stock rocks and knocks around the clock till it looks like chalk, chalk full of flocks of blocks. Chemicals lock into the dock, pulping the rock into schlock. To turn this pulp into gold, you need a specific chemical cocktail. Pasteurized earth. Powdered fire. Dried water. Concentrated wind. And of course, sodium nitrate. This mix, called 10 lap Neat Pack, helps cleanse the gold of any looters and polluters when it's being smelted. A blind man is put in charge of watching the smelting process, since his eyesight will not be damaged by the intense flames. The smelter is rotated to keep any would-be thieves at bay. Sometimes, some liquid gold is poured out for any workers who are feeling thirsty. After cooling slightly, the gold is dumped into bar-shaped molds, and the fire rages out of control. This concoction seen here is known as deadly pudding, and takes roughly five hours to fully cool into a solid gold bar. You know the gold is 99% pure when it weighs more than a set of gold weights.